I'm about to make some Jamaican jerk chicken red stripe Jamaican beer chili. It's really hard to say that. Jamaican jerk Jamaican beer chili. Alright, so what I have is I have about 10 garlic cloves chopped up, one large onion, I have two red bell peppers chopped up, I already fried the chicken, or my wife did rather, I have about a quarter cup of chopped up cilantro, I have some homemade Jamaican jerk chicken marinade, which is a separate recipe. Then we have a can of tomatoes that's diced, about 28 ounces with the water. We're going to add some cocoa. We'll add the Jamaican beer, obviously the restaurant beer. Add one tablespoon, I believe, of tomato paste. And then we're going to have two cans of beans. Doesn't really matter what type. I'm using black beans and a navy bean, and they're going to be rinsed, and we'll add those in. Uh, you can use pinto beans, you can use kidney beans, whatever beans you prefer. So we'll add all this together, cook it, and add our marinade, and uh, give it a whirl, see how it tastes. Alright, so we finished making it, and it was actually really good. You can taste the lime, you can taste the spice, so it has some heat to it. Um, can't really taste the beer, I thought you'd be able to taste the beer. So I've had a uh, Jamaican jerk chili recipe, um, and then I had a beer chili, and I kind of just merged the two and tried to create my own dish. Um, but you can't really tell the taste of the beer, it just tastes like Jamaican jerk chili, but it is pretty good, and um, yeah, so here's what it looks like. You can taste the lime, you can taste the heat a little bit, you can see the cilantro's in there, it has a cilantro taste to it. So it's pretty good, I would recommend it. Um, if you don't have any red stripe beer, you probably don't have to add any, because you can't really taste it anyways, but uh, I would recommend it.